lot about how people seek jobs. We don't know very much about how jobs are created, how people create jobs. And uh, the process by which society creates jobs and, the, and thereby creates employment. Or in most jobs created by private companies, somebody gets an idea for a product or service that he thinks others will pay money for. Absolutely. And he hires people to produce that. Yeah, absolutely. But that doesn't quite tell us how a market that offers jobs is created. Are you actively involved in trying to solve this problem? No, uh, I, I was, I'm an academic. And as a, as a result, I enjoy the luxury of not having to create jobs for others. Now, as an academic, sometimes academics are called upon to study issues and make policy recommendations. Do you do any of that? Yeah, all right. So uh, that's precisely the connection. And uh, I'd say from problems that I had studied in the past, I think that a design of or a redesign of the retirement systems and the terms on which people retire, uh, that may well uh, be instrumental in creating a more robust uh, uh, job market. As you know, in many countries, including my country, uh, retirement is mandatory, unlike here in the U.S. At and what so age? In my country, it's, uh, it's 67. And that is Israel, right? Right. And they're talking about raising it to even 68, maybe. And uh, so uh, much of uh, the effect of retirement on hiring and on the ability to hire younger uh, employees uh, depends on that. Does that Sorry, mandatory retirement age apply to private sector employees Everybody. as well as public sector? Every, and, and throughout Europe, as far as I know. So if you own a company and you have an employee who is 67 years old, he has to stop? Yeah. Um, you know, there is, a, uh, at least in my country, there is a provision for or continued employment on, on a so-called special contract. Mm -hmm. But basically, you're right, uh, people have to retire. Now, when Israel declared its independence, most of the leaders were socialists, and they had a right. socialist economy for a long time. Right. Have they pretty much gotten away from socialism? And if so, has that been good for the economy? Uh, the so yeah, you're quite right. And it was sort of mild-type socialism, although uh, some in some areas there were collectives called kibbutz, Right. or kibbutzim that were more totally social, socialist. And all that has come down in a big way as a, res as a result of political changes in the country. On the whole, I think it's been good for the economy in the sense that it allowed uh, the country to venture into new territory which it wouldn't have had had the old system been uh, still been uh, entrenched. In Israel, what do you think is the most important economic problem that needs to be solved? Peace. Um, it's not an economic any? problem, but it, it no. does hold in it uh, the, the key to a much greater economic vista that could be uh, that could be very, very, very salutary for the Israeli economy. And what do you think the likelihood of that happening is? Uh, rather low. <laughs>